This knife was handcrafted by local knife maker Ross Johnston and he gifted it to me. A knife that I really liked and I took out fishing quite a few times in my homemade punt, this boat here. Anyway, uh, I took a young fella out a few times fishing and I think he took a shine to my knife so I decided I was going to give it to him. I could tell he, he liked it every time we killed something with it, fish mostly. But he took it upon himself to do something a bit naughty and what he did was he hid it inside the boat and we were out the last time I saw the knife in this boat and I said to him, have you seen the knife? Can't find it. He goes, no. I suspected he'd stole it so I said, listen mate, um, if you've taken it, there's no problem, just empty your bag and that. And he said, oh I haven't taken it and I said, well empty your bag and he emptied his bag and he didn't have it. But what he had done is he had hidden the, the knife up under the front forecastle, just up under here. You probably can't see in the dark but he put it in there and tucked it inside there where it sits and it sat there for a year and I never knew it was there and from then on when I took him out fishing he was always a bit strange and I didn't know what happened until I was cleaning the boat out a while ago and I found it and I put the story together in my head. At least that's what I think happened, it's the most likely case scenario. He'd intended to take it when I wasn't watching and take it home. Probably a bad choice in his part but anyway, I've got the knife and as you can see it's rusted over, it's pretty well stuffed. And it's a knife I really like so I'm going to head over to my mate David's place because he's got my dad's vice because I don't have a vice here and I'm going to do a restoration on it and I might make it look a bit different, change it a bit because uh, it lends itself to that, we'll see how we get on.
222 grit Japanese whetstone. Plenty of water. It's quite a coarse one to start on, but it'll help get the edge on this blade. So we'll start off just doing strokes. Five hundred. Back on the farm, I gave the blade the 220 Japanese whetstone and then the 500, making it nice and sharp. The old paper test. Can't really get it sharper than that. And now I'm going to give it some of this stuff here. It's a gun treatment. And I like it because it smells really nice, but also protects the steel and also the wood. I've given a little bit, I'm going to give another bit now. It's got a really nice banana smell. And I'm going to hold this so you guys can see it, just if you want to get it for yourself. Your firearms owners probably have it already. So I'll put it on this wood. And this wood looks like a burr. I'm pretty sure that uh, Ross, who made this knife, made it out of a burr. I'll finish up with a close-up on the knife. Hope you enjoyed my clip. Be good, if you can't be good. Be careful. See you later.